Another five and oh. Four, yeah. four, four. No, we games. we play five games, sir. I already looked at the schedule. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. See, and you're our coach, and you don't know how many sorry, games sorry. we play. We but don't mind that. But we about to go five and oh. And we got Oakland Soldiers on Sunday, so we about to get that dub too. Xavier Raton Mays was praised as the best shooter in high school basketball. ESPN ranked him as a top prospect and one of the best guards in his class. About to get it in. All these coaches coming to watch us. You know what it is. CIA Bounce is a Canadian AAU powerhouse that has dominated against U.S. competition. CIA Bounce, 9-0. We in the building. Out here in Dallas. First game. All right, what? Athens first. Yeah. About to be 36. Give your time, baby. Scarborough, stand up. Scarborough. Go ahead. My mom's back home. Shout out to my pops down in Shout out all the people back home in Canada. Shout out to the Americans, they always think they are the best players in the world. And some of them think they're a little too good for themselves. So I always try and let them know who we are and that we're from Canada and we're here to essentially kick their ass. After the third game, we what? 12 and 0? 12 and 0. 12 and 0. That summer was probably the best summer of my life, being the fact that I got to spend it with my two best friends and Tyler and Andrew. And just the fact that that team was so close. A lot of teams talk about being brothers and the family aspect, but there's not too many that really live by that. And that team actually lived by it. That summer was just an amazing summer. We were able to do something special for CIA Bounce and for our country. And that summer was just in the summer of 2013, Xavier was recruited by Florida State University, but his credits from an unsanctioned high school were dropped by the NCAA, and he was deemed ineligible to play. Teammates Tyler Ennis and Andrew Wiggins experienced breakout freshman years and were drafted in the first round of the 2014 NBA draft. It's been a tough year. Uh, when I first got the news that I wasn't able to play, it was um, devastating having some that you love so much taken away from you. Um, and not being able to do it, not being able to be out there with your teammates, not being able to perform in front of your family, friends and stuff. Um, like I said, it hurt. I've been training with my managers three times a day, just working my butt off being, to be in shape and to be the player that everybody expects me to be. Almost there. Five seconds, you're gonna keep the left knee in your chest. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Keep the left knee in your chest. Hold it. Come on now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming into school last year, I wanted to just completely change my body around to be uh, a big time athlete. Why, man? My head.
mentally, what do you tell yourself when you're going every day, doing two a days or three a days sometimes? Got family to provide for. Got a family that's counting on me to be able to provide for. Um, and um, besides that, I just want to be, I don't want to just be another player to go to the NBA and out in five years, six years. I want to be one of the best to ever play. This is my mother. People like to get her mixed up as my sister. I don't know why, but but yeah, this is my mom, the Sticky woman that's jeans. done everything for me in life, to gotten me to the point uh, where I am today. So this is a, a big year for X coming in. It's like a dog coming out of a cage. Um, he's had a year to get bigger, stronger, mature. Um, he's ready. He, he went through a lot in that last year, but uh, one thing I always tell all my kids, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. With me, I've, I've always kept my circle real tight. Uh, I got my two brothers, my mom, my grandma, my grandpa, my dad, and I got probably about six, seven friends that, that I've um, known my entire life and that I uh, know everything about me. Other than that, I don't uh, mess with anybody. If you ask, if you ask Drew and um, Tyler and Novell and those guys, and you ask them, what is X doing on the weekends? Or uh, after, if X is not playing ball, what is he doing? I'm always at the house, you know, just hanging out with the family. I, I don't feel the need to go out and party. I don't feel the need to um, go out and do all that extra stuff. Uh, I have a goal, and that's um, to make it to the league and take care of my family and um, be one of the best players I ever play. And, I'm not gonna let anything get in the way of that.